No! Ma! See what I'm saying? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Barbara. If you're new here, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? Gonna get that out of the way. Click that little button down below and turn on your notifications so you know when I upload. And let's talk about this look. I got this whole face, every product on my face, costs less than $10. And this... Your girl's ready to go somewhere. I don't have anywhere to go, but I'm ready to go somewhere. So if you want to see how I got this look and what products I used and how you can get this whole face with affordable products, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so today's video might be a little different because it's gonna be less of like tutorial teaching style and more of just, I wanna get ready. I had a little trouble finding products because a lot of stuff that I have that I thought was inexpensive it's inexpensive, but it's not under $10. So I had to do some digging, but I have everything and I'm excited to show you guys. So to start off, I'm going to start with primer. I have two primers. I have the Wet n Wild. This is the Water Drop Primer in Coconut. And then I have my Master Prime by Maybelline, the Hydrate and Smooth version. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Primer today because I haven't used it before. That was another thing. I was trying to find products that I have not used before in other tutorials. I want to keep it fresh and use different products. I don't want to just keep using the same stuff over and over. I don't know how this is going to be on my pores, but I don't want to use two primers. So we're just going to use that one. But we all know Wet n Wild's products are very inexpensive. So while that's sitting, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. For brows, I have two options i have this la girl slim shady brow pencil i don't think i've ever used this on my channel i know it's really inexpensive but then i kind of want to use this maybelline brow extensions this is the fiber pomade crayon it is in the shade 260 deep brown i picked this up recently so i kind of want to use it because it's something new we all know that i'm not really big into the slim brow pencils anymore just because I like my brows a little thicker. I may use it for the tail, but I really want to see how this Maybelline brow extensions works. This is what it looks like. The tip is rounded. It is not like any kind of point or anything. So I'm going to use this in the front of my brows and just see. This is definitely not for people who like a super sculpted brow but again that's not really the look that i'm going for right now so i'm all right with that this is a little dark and i'm just applying a light pressure with this because i don't want it to be too dark i'm going to take my spoolie and brush through it and see yeah i think it definitely looks better if it actually has hairs to grab onto but i don't think that's a bad look at all just for like a quick on the go Give your brows a little more fullness, but not look too sculpted. So now I'm just gonna take the LA Girl pencil and I'm gonna go in around the edges just to clean it up. And this is in the shade Espresso. That's all right, this looks a little messy, but I'm gonna clean it up with concealer, so it is fine. All right, this is where we're gonna stop for right now. I'm gonna do the other side. I'm gonna clean them up with concealer and then I'm gonna show you the brow gel that I have and then we'll move on. All right, brows are done. The pomade that I used, I feel like it kind of gave me a little more hold on my brows than like it feels how it would feel if I was doing a brow gel on top. So I like that, I don't have to put anything extra. I did pull out a brow gel just in case and this is the e.l.f. brow gel in medium. Doesn't really say much else on it, it just has e.l.f. on the front so this is a very, very, very thin little wand. So, I mean, I feel like my brows are already stuck down, but I don't think I've ever seen one this thin. So I kind of like that. All right, so now we're gonna go in with our eyeshadow. And 
this kind of bummed me out a little bit because I didn't realize like even my least expensive eyeshadow palettes are still over $10. So I do have my Wet n Wild palettes, the color icon palettes. This is the tin pan one and this is in the shade comfort zone. For concealer for my lid, I have a couple options. I wanted to use a couple of them like I did in my black owned beauty brand video just to give you guys options i have the la girl pro conceal concealer this one is in the shade toffee i use this one to clean up my brows but then i also have my elf camo concealer and this one's in the shade tan latte this one is really light and then i have my ColourPop no filter concealer which i have just used recently so we're gonna go between the elf and the la girl I'm gonna use the e.l.f. on my eyelids because it is really light, so it will help cancel out the discoloration, but I'm going to go in very light-handed with that one. I'm just gonna blend this out. And then to set this, I'm going to use my Black Radiance True Complexion Loose Setting Powder. I have this one and then I have my Wet n Wild Photo Focus in Banana, but I've noticed that when I like to bake, I actually like this one a little bit more in terms of how it sits on my face. All right, I'm going to start with the transition shade in my crease. I swear, I think every time I do a makeup look and it involves eyeshadow which is I never I don't think I ever not do my eyeshadow unless I'm just doing like five minute face get out the door but I never know what I'm gonna do until I start next I'm gonna go in with the second transition shade which is the darker one and I'm using the same brush and I'm just gonna bring that a little lower Then I'm gonna take a smaller brush and since we don't really have a dark, dark shade, I'm gonna go in with this dark brown shade right here. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it, but we are going to pack that in the crease. is building up a lot darker than I thought it would. Ooh, okay, that color is gorgeous and it just keeps going. Sheesh, I'll put a lot on the other eye. I'm gonna have to try to blend that out. All right, this side looking a little crazy. He is dark. I'm gonna take the darker transition shade and just go right around the edge. is better a lot more blended these colors that's a lot more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be all right I am going to add a little more concealer on my lid kind of like a cut crease but not like super super crazy just because I want to make sure this color pops I'm gonna use the kind of blue brownish shade. All right, so now I'm gonna take this shade here, which as you can see does have a slight kind of duochrome to it. And I'm gonna start that on the lid. I'm gonna take it all the way to the inner corner. This color is just too pretty not to. I feel like this is showing up so much more than any other time I've tried to even 
swatch this shade. So I'm wondering if putting the concealer base and keeping it wet had something to do with that. And then for the very, very inner corner, I'm gonna take this shade here. I'm gonna go with this shade. Either this one or this one. This one, we're gonna go with that one. All right, we're gonna stop here for eyeshadow just for right now, and I'm gonna move on to the rest of my face. For foundation, of course you guys know I love my Hard Candy Glamouflage, one of my all-time favorites. I've used this before. I also love this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I have also used this before, pretty sure. So I'm gonna use a different foundation. This is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. Only concern is it says that it's mattifying. I do know that they came out with more shades in this. I hope this matches me. This is in the shade number 80, Caramel Beige. And I'm just gonna take this. It has a little dropper. All right, so I'm just gonna start with that. Um, let's see. I don't remember. If this oxidizes, it does have a smell. Color match is okay. This is what one layer looks like. Can't say that it's a pump or what, because as you saw, it was a dropper. So I'm gonna go in with another layer, which is not really different from anything that I normally do. And this layer, whoa, I'm actually going to do more of a stippling motion to pat this in to help build up the coverage. It's very pretty though. I remember when I bought this, this was like the darkest shade and I was like, oh wow. And then they've come out, I probably bought this a year ago, I don't know guys, it's been a while. But then they came out with more shades within the past year, so I was like, all right, y'all must have heard people complaining. All right, we're gonna stop there. It says that this is mattifying, so ugh. Hopefully that won't be too crazy, but this is what we have so far. Now for concealer, I don't think that this shade is gonna be light enough, so I'm gonna mix it. I'm gonna mix the LA Girl concealer, and then I'm also going to put my e.l.f. concealer that I used for my eyeshadow just on top to kind of help lighten it up a little bit because I think this one would have been too light. I'm using my e.l.f. Total Face Sponge and it says you can use this wet or dry. I have water on deck because I've never used a sponge dry but I'm gonna do what it says. Oh it makes me nervous. It seems to be working all right though. All right, Elf, because I was sure gonna call you out. It definitely makes the sponge more firm, which I don't know that I like that, but I think it also helps to keep the coverage and it doesn't soak up as much product. All right, not bad, because I was sure gonna go in. And I'm gonna go back with my Black Radiance powder. And this is in the shade Banana. I'm gonna take this on a brush and just pack it since I'm not too worried about 
having to bake with this one since I'm already super light. Because that foundation says that it is mattifying, I am not going to set my face. I'm just going to go in with my bronzer. And I'm going to use the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. I did get the shade medium to dark. I think I almost picked up the other one and thank God I didn't because that one was like super, super dark. So I'm just going to go in lightly. A lot picks up off this brush. It's a lot of kick up in the pan. <laughs> Every time. Y'all barely like, ugh, we'll blend it out. All right, we're just gonna try. <laughs> I'm making it worse. Oh. Okay, um, we're just gonna try to blend this in a lot. <gasps> wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can we say forgot how pigmented that was? Okay, I'm gonna take the sculpt powder in here which is a little lighter it's a lot lighter it's actually like a kind of gold and i'm going to go oh boy i'm just going around the edges to make that not be so harsh and then i'm going to take my banana powder and I'm going to put that back over where I just messed up this front part. This isn't a first impressions. I know better. <laughs> oh man. With this powder and I still just, I guess I forgot. For blush. I wanted to give you guys options for that as well. So I have my Rimmel Maxi blush, which is in the shade Wild Card. And this is what this one looks like. Then I also, I don't remember if I've used this or not. I have my e.l.f. Always Spicy. I know I showed it to you guys, but I'm not sure if I used it. And then another option, just in case you are just starting out, these e.l.f. Blush Quads, I need to double check the price. But if you want to get something that has more than one shade, this is also a good option. I'm gonna use the blush quad because you're technically getting four shades for, it said $8 at Ulta, so it might be even less. I'm gonna go in, I'm just gonna mix them. That's what we're gonna do. I'm taking this shade down here and this shade up here and I'm mixing them. We, we are chiseled today. I ain't mad at it at all. All right, for highlighter, again, I could go in with this shade from the contour palette, but I also just wanted to show you guys, of course you've seen this before. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder, and I'm pretty sure I've used this, so I am gonna pick something else. I was digging through my drawer and I found this Milani Day Glow Strobe Light. This is in the shade 02. And this is what it looks like. Of course, this looks like it has never been used. And honestly, I don't know if it has been. So we're going to use this today. See, so this says it's a strobing powder. So that means it's not like a bling, bright, bright highlight like y'all normally see me use. But it can be built up, so that is good. We're just going to stick with one today. Imagine that, Barbara, only using one. That is very pretty. Okay, Milani. I haven't used this, I don't think, but this is really pretty. Especially with the contrast with that contour goo. Okay. Four lips. I... 
of course have an NYX lip pencil. I have the shade 809 Mahogany, which is a bit of a berry. And then for lipstick, I have L'Oreal. This one does not actually have, this is what the component looks like. And it says that it is their L'Oreal Rouge Signature Matte Lip Stain. This is what the applicator looks like. So it's this flat kind of diamond shape. I'm gonna use the first one that I showed it's in the shade I Explore. And it says it's a stain. Definitely feels lightweight. Yeah, this feels like a stain. It doesn't feel like I'm putting anything on my lips at all. It's very pretty. It's almost like a my lips but better color. All right, to finish off our eyes, I do have a couple of options for liner. So the first one I have is this Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Waterproof Liquid Liner. And it looks like this, just standard liquid liner. And it is a brush tip, which we love. But then I also have these two never opened. One is the NYX vinyl liquid liner and then i ha also have this nyc liquid liner in 887 black still in the pack have no idea how long i've had it or if it's even still available but we're gonna try this nyx one i got a feeling i'm not gonna like this applicator Urgh. yeah no this applicator is similar to the uh the balm schwing liner so well it says vinyl so I pulled it out the tube and it literally like had an extra film <gasps> no Mwah! see what I'm saying this brush is too soft Oh, I don't like this. And it's on my lashes. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like it. Ooh, I'm gonna try to finish it, but I don't like this at all. <laughs> uh. All right, I'm gonna use this on the other eye, but I'm probably gonna clean it up with the wet and wild one. And this is going in the trash because I don't like it. All right. Yeah, that liner is already on the floor by the trash can, and I am not going to use it. I, I honestly bought that so long ago, and I never even tried it. It was one of those things where I was like, I was just getting into makeup, and I thought it was cool, and so I was just like, oh, let me try and see. I don't know what this vinyl is going to look like. This might be something nice. No, ma'am. Absolutely not. So, NYX. This vinyl liner. I don't even know if y'all still make this. Hopefully not because no. All right, for mascara, I'm cracking open a brand new tube. This is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion. And this is in the shade Very Black. This has a very fat plastic bristle wand. So I don't have that many mascaras. A lot of the mascaras that I get are from like gift sets and it came in there. The only mascara that I've bought solely lately or some of the ones that I bought, this stupid liner has my lashes all clumped together. Um, mascara, sorry. The mascaras that I've bought are the 
It Superhero and the Fenty Beauty Cause I'm Black, the Full Frontal Mascara. I love those. So, and the Thrive. Other than that, I haven't really been buying mascaras. My lashes definitely look very full. I don't know if you can see. This mascara I think I'm gonna like though. I'll try it by itself and see. I'm gonna finish my bottom lash line real quick and I'm just gonna do my normal stuff. I'm gonna take that dark brown that has the shimmer in it. That color that took me by surprise. And then I am gonna take the shade on our lid. That color is so bright. Like I don't remember it coming off this bright before. Oh, I love how that looks. I'm gonna go ahead and do my bottom lashes real quick. Kinda makes me nervous doing this with this brush since it's so big. Oh, when I tell you this has been a struggle let it dry, it'll come off. For lashes, I'm gonna go in, these are pretty thick. I'm kinda nervous about them because y'all know how I struggle with lashes, but these are the Ardell 259s. These look pretty full. I have tried to wear them before and it was not a success. So I'm gonna put these on, off camera of course, and then I'm either gonna come back with them on or come back with something else. But we'll have some lashes on, so I'll be right back. Y'all know that took me some time, but I am done. We went with the original lashes. I learned a new lash application process last night. And I don't know why I never Googled it before, but in the tutorial I watched, they said get a mirror and you actually like hold it under your face like this and then look down when you're putting your lashes on. Where has this been all my life? I, my whole face, every single product on my face costs less than $10 or maybe like right at the $10 mark, $9.99. But this looks like money. That eyeshadow, I don't know what was different this time, but the shade, that shade just pops so much more this time. I love the complexion products. This foundation, I remember loving it the first time I tried it and then I hadn't tried it again. I don't know why. And it says last up to 24 hours. I'm not gonna put it to that test, but I do have to work out today. And yes, I'm doing it in this face because it is too beat to take it off. I will list everything that I use below, but this highlight, the contour is a little more than what I normally do, but if I was doing like a full glam, this is what it would look like. So I'm absolutely in love with this look. Y'all saw I had a little bit of hiccup with that liner. Like I said, it is going in the trash, but everything else, definitely keep it and we'll be using again. Thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of this video. If you like how this look turned out, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. If you guys are excited about how these products performed, let me know in the comments if you have any of these products or what you're gonna go pick up because you love how this turned out. I am going to enjoy the rest of my day and go work out, but I will see you guys soon. Bye.